We call it the clean energy revolution. But powering that revolution comes at a high cost, one that's largely hidden from public view. From electric cars to smartphones and missile guidance systems, rare earth elements are essential to modern life. But refining these critical minerals may be one of the dirtiest processes in the entire tech supply chain. Tonight, in our report, we dig into the refining process behind rare earth elements and the environmental and geopolitical stakes. We begin with breaking down how rare earths are refined and why the process is so toxic. It starts with rocks and ends in high performance magnets, motors and military tech. But turning rare earth ore into usable material involves an intense chemical journey. Refining is where the magic and in the mess then happens. These chemicals don't just disappear. In places like Baotu, China, ground zero for rare earth refining, massive black lakes of sludge stretch for miles. That's where most of the world's rare earth refining takes place. Over 85% is done in China, thanks to lax regulations and government subsidies. People think rare earths are part of the clean energy future, but the process to get them is anything but clean. And that creates a dangerous imbalance, where the world's clean tech supply is tied to one country's pollution. Thank you. And as nations race to reduce dependence on China, the question now is, can the US and its allies build their own refining systems without repeating the same environmental damage? For that part of the story, we now look at the growing push to bring rare earth refining back to American soil. Here in the US, rare earth mining is already happening at places like Mountain Pass, California. But after mining, the raw material is still shipped to China for processing. Why? Because refining is expensive. In China, it costs about $3,000 per ton. In the US, estimates run as high as $20,000. We've got the resources. What we need is refining capacity that's environmentally responsible and economically viable. The Department of Defense is funding pilot projects. Australia's LINAS is building a US-based plant. And legislation on Capitol Hill is calling for billions in incentives. But experts warn building refining infrastructure could take five to 10 years. If we want electric vehicles, wind turbines, and advanced electronics without relying on Beijing, the refining challenge must be solved. Clean energy, it turns out, starts with making peace with some dirty realities. Two worlds collide in this global race. The demand for cleaner energy and the environmental toll of getting there. Rare earths may be key to the future, but as we've seen, the process of refining them is a price we're only beginning to understand. Our next report, can new tech offer a cleaner alternative? And who will lead the next phase of rare earth independence? Reporting from the US, this has been Team Skillings.